Hey everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. We got a lot to talk about today, but first up, let's get going. We've got a load of used plastics here. We're going to take them down to Lisbon and they're going to Maersk, which is the shipping thing. We're going to start working on the Let's Go Shipping Achievement, which if you're not familiar with that, it's you have to take make 11 deliveries in Iberia. We're now still in Badajoz after our um, convoy episode with Parkera. But you have to take 11, you have to make 11 deliveries to all of the different shipping ports in Iberia. Now, they are called TS Atlas in the base game, but because we have the real company names installed, they've been renamed to Maersk. And so this is the first of the 11 that we'll be doing. So I'm looking forward to getting started on this. This is only a three hour job. So I think we're going to try to do is to do a couple of them here. And at some point, I might try to sleep, too. So we get some uh, get some light going here, too. But. Uh, so far, we're going to have to do a midnight run here. I've got a lot of things to talk about because, as you know, a couple episodes ago, I got a new wheel and then I've been playing around with the settings and a lot of people have been posting help on these different settings. Well, this is kind of a, an interesting navigational maze here. Whoa. Hopefully nothing coming. Good. I should have looked there. Really should have looked. But... Uh, so I want to talk a little bit about some of the settings I've been playing around with. And then we have big news as well in the Euro Truck Simulator 2 world. So uh, pretty excited for this little drive. I think we're going to do two. We're going to do the short one because it's only three hours from Badajoz to Lisbon. And then we're going to come back and probably pick up another short one. See if we get two parking challenges in here too. So let's get out on the highway a little bit and then we'll start to chat. Right now. So we're almost about an hour out on the highway now. We've got about two hours left to go to Lisbon, and we're stuck in some traffic. We've got a slow truck in the right-hand lane and a lot of trucks that are trying to pass it, but not really trying to pass it in the left-hand lane. So this nighttime driving here to Lisbon is pretty crowded here. Just about 2 a.m. in the morning, we're doing the, the night run here, the Red, the Red Bullet Express here. But... We're kind of just chugging our way along as we get, whoa, a lot of slow traffic here. Now, I am liking, I think I've got the wheel pretty much the way I like it, but I've been playing around with a lot of settings. One thing that I'm trying out in this episode, and this was posted, I've been kind of talking about the settings in American Truck Simulator 2, and Jacob Bruch and Martin J. Ortiz both suggested turning on the steering camera rotation setting in the gameplay settings. And I did that, and I've been playing around with it as we were picking up our used plastics here. And actually, that seems to help a lot. Basically, the camera just kind of turns a little bit to the direction you're turning in, so you don't have to manually adjust the camera. That's That saves a lot of time. And that was one of the biggest things I was having, because as I was turning the wheel, um, my I'd have to change the vision, but then I couldn't recenter it where you're going, so it was kind of creating issues, let's say, with the turning. So I was trying to learn how to center it with my right hand. Whoa. Uh, but that that's a new skill. I'm going to pay. I mean, I think I'll work on that anyway. So I kind of use the keypad to do that because I'm used to driving with two hands. But thank you to both of them for trying out that setting. And Jacob Bruch had a bunch of other wheel settings and kind of stuff in that there. I haven't checked out those yet, but I'm going to do those coming up in the future here. Yay, slow trucks out of the way. Nice. Here we go. So that's one thing, and, and we'll see that, I think, as we get into the kind of some of the urban driving here. And uh, so with about an hour and 45 minutes left to go now, I think what I'll probably do is uh, drive a little bit more, and then we'll chat again here. I kind of wish we were doing it in the daytime here. We've got a, a massive bridge here going into Lisbon that we're driving over. And it's not the easiest to th thing to see here at night. Let's see what we can do it with the external camera here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, this is nice, huh? I bet this is beautiful during the daytime, too. We'll have to come back for this. But, yeah, we're uh, enjoying the night drive. The traffic lightened up a little bit. We were behind some pretty thick traffic there for a while with a couple of slow trucks making their way around. But now it's all good. The other thing that I want to say thank you for is Martin J. Ortiz posted even more settings for the wheel. And I haven't had a chance to mess around with those, mainly the buttons on the wheel, on the, to stuff like that, for like common functions and stuff. So I think I'm going to to, to kind of use those settings for a while and see how those work out. So thank you again to all the people that have been posting information about the wheel and tips about it, about the brake pad and stuff like that. I think I got the brake pad exactly the way I like it now. I didn't bother to take out that rubber pad inset yet. I just have it kind of the sensitivity and the dead zone down to zero and the sensitivity way up to like 85 or 100 in the G Hub Logitech G Hub settings. And that seems to be working pretty well, especially in Euro Truck Simulator. So I think I'm getting pretty close now. The other thing that I did as I was getting ready for this episode 
is I adjusted my seat settings. I think they kind of went back to the defaults for a while and I wasn't really happy with the view I was getting. So I kind of played around with those and I think that's kind of partly done. So whatever reason, I feel like this has been nice. It's been kind of all your like quality of life settings and just kind of messing around with them and tweaking them. And sometimes you get into a habit. I think maybe when you get updates, the game kind of messes them up or resets them to the defaults and then you forget to reset them and stuff like that. But I kind of like this view now. I think I want to be a little bit more forward, but I, I widened the angle and stuff like that. The only other issue I was having too was that, and I mentioned at the beginning of this episode, the wheel wasn't centered, so it was pulling left. So I went in and calibrated it uh, manually, and then it was pulling to the right. So then I decided I just kind of let it go to defaults, and now it's working fine. So go figure. That's what you get for trying to mess with things sometimes. So yeah, I'm kind of liking how the wheel is working right now, although I do want to try some of... Um, Martin Ortiz's settings there for the, the buttons and stuff like that to see how those might change the experience a little bit too, especially for the common things like lights, and horn. Um, you know, those would be nice to have here. Why are, oh, this is a long light. We're gonna be here forever. Speaking of which, another thing that I did, um, Ditsy Nako has been uh, following and kind of watching a lot of the American Truck Simulator episodes uh, kind of the older ones and working her way forward and it's always cool to see when someone does that by the way like you get you know you, they'll talk about they'll make a comment on like episode 13 or something like that and that's cool because it's kind of like ah, i remember that episode and i go back and kind of you know re look revisit the part they're talking about and stuff like that and look at it again You're and it's done. just kind of fun and stuff but oh so one of the things that um I think I got on the thing. We were talking about traffic lights in Roswell, New Mexico, which she says, and I completely agree with after driving around a lot of American truck simulator cities, has the worst traffic lights in the whole game, which, of course, is the city we picked to have our base in. Now, not to go off on an American truck simulator story, but she did say one of the mods that she likes was something called extended yellow lights, like younger, longer yellow lights. Now, I couldn't find that for Euro Truck Simulator, but what I did find was extended traffic light timing. And we could see that that traffic light there was set longer. The yellow lights are longer with that, too, and the green lights are longer, too, which I think helps. Now, you can see here as we're turning that the whole view shifts. That's really cool. So now I don't have to mess with it myself. We're getting some good quality of life improvements here. I feel like I should have done these a long time ago, perhaps. But anyway, we're here now. Discovered a viewpoint. Oh, we got to check this out. That must be for the bridge, which we won't be able to see because it's nighttime. But anyway, I feel like every viewpoint I've been to in the past, like, 10 episodes, for whatever reason, has been at night. Let's see if we can go see that. I think we can go see that, right? Or maybe we'll see it on the way out, huh? Because that's kind of going the other way there. Oh, we'll do a U-turn. Yeah, we'll see it on the way out, I think. So as I'm turning, that's not, I'm not even moving my wheel. That's cool. Pretty cool. No, it didn't go back, though, but I can center it. That's okay. Usually it's been going back as I unturn, as I kind of center the wheel out of the turn and stuff like that. So what kind of parking okay. challenge are we going to get? This is a small trailer. I feel like we should be able to. So as I'm turning here, that's doing it automatically. I like that. This is an immediate quality of life benefit. Why am I just learning this after 150 hours? But <laughs> thank you. 90. Yes. All right. Where does this go? right over there why is that a 90 that doesn't seem like a 90 at all i feel like we can just kind of cut right in here cut right in front of this little machinery thing here straighten the truck out and we should be there right this doesn't feel that hard. i mean there's a oops oh we hit the what are those called bollards no damage but okay i was wondering about those things i felt like they were there All right, we gotta get off those here. We'll get this sorted out, then we'll get lined up and we'll see how we do in the parking here. I feel like we can just get this really easy. This is right over there. Why is this hard? This is a 90? Portugal 90s aren't very hard, I think. Well, watch, I'll totally screw this up, but no, I'm gonna get this on the first shot. I'm feeling pretty confident here. Here we go. Oops, can't see. I got this. So, I'm not totally screwed. so I don't want this. What I want to do now is I, I feel like the camera's turning. So I don't want this camera thing working, the automatic turning when I'm reversing it. That doesn't feel very good. I'm going to screw this up, aren't I? Pfft. All right. So 
to my defense, what messed me up was the automatic, the way it automatically shifted the view when I was parking. Um, so I'm going to see if I can reset that. That that wasn't helping. That that's I'm blaming that. So let me see if I can reset it. Then we'll try again. All right. So what I did was I turned off the camera rotation on reverse, which is what I want to do. Now that will mean that when I'm backing up, the camera's not doing that crazy thing. Because I, I, I'm good with moving the camera around when I'm backing up here. So now we should be able to get it in one shot. Yes. I thought I was going to miss that. But we got it. So we are home. Now this, when we hit this, this should give us the first of 11 deliveries for this Let's Go Shipping achievement. Do we get it pop up here? There it is, achievement progress. Let's go shipping, one out of 11, most excellent. Not much money there, but the shipping was our goal. Now let's go find another short delivery and do something else. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we got another job. We're gonna take some oil filters from here. You can see the little flashing dancing sign over there. So we're gonna take some oil filters here up to Coimbra. It's about a two hour drive. Should be relatively straightforward here and We'll finish up our night driving here. So it looks like it might be an all night episode, although I might try to grab some sleep here if I can find something on the way. So let's see if we can get this hooked up. All righty, oil filters all hooked up. We are ready to go. Let's get on the road here. We got to get back out of here. I think that way, right? So off we go. We'll see you as we get a little bit out here on the highway. Looking forward to another couple hours driving. All righty, we are out on the road here. Let's check out this little viewpoint here. Which Now, there is an achievement for this as well, too, right? You have to get all the viewpoints in Iberia. This is what? So that gives us two of the 15. 25th of April Bridge. So that's that big bridge that connects into Lisbon there. That's pretty cool. It actually looks kind of cool at night, too. Nice and red. Reminds me a little bit of the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. Cool. Because it's nighttime and we want to get busy, I think we're going to drive on here. But that was kind of fun. We're going to move on. So let's get out on the highway. We still have perhaps our biggest news of the day to talk about. So we'll chat once we get a little bit of, uh, of distance on us here. Sun's coming up finally. So we got some daylight. We can check out Portugal. We'll be able to see where we're going. So now, of course, the biggest news. We've got about, about an hour and a half left. So we got about a little bit out of the city of Lisbon and um, got about an hour, 30 minutes into our two hour drive or so. Now, the big news, of course, is SCS has announced the new DLC, the, the Western Balkans, which looks like it's pretty much everything in that hole in the map right now, except for Greece. I'm excited about it. I mean, my, my, the one I was hoping for was like Scotland and, and Ireland and stuff like that. That would have been cool. but. Um, Definitely pretty excited about the West Balkans. I think that's a great choice. And um, I have no idea when it's going to come out. It's probably going to take a while, right? They're probably still, would you guess, maybe a, not this year for it, perhaps? So, um, but still, it's nice to have that come. Whoa. Uh, it's nice to have the announcement for it and see some screenshots and stuff like that. I think it's going to be a really fun, really fun DLC. And uh, hopefully keep the company alive because that's a lot it's got to be a lot of work to build Russia and then lose all that money for sure or at least not be able to use it to make money but excited about that so that's some great news there uh, well we'll keep moving on here we got about an hour or so left oh trailer damage two percent I feel like that was my fault but he hit me from behind what the heck uh okay I never saw him I'm I feel pretty rusty at this game and I don't quite I guess maybe, maybe I haven't been driving as much as I thought I was driving, but I gotta get some miles under me, huh? But now that work has calmed down, I think that's gonna be definitely possible. Work at May was a super busy stretch for me, and now it's uh, it's calmed down back to normal. So we picked up another 1% of damage pulling out of the parking lot there too, so we got 3% trailer damage, but I don't think we damaged the cargo, so that's good. So we are in we're approaching Coimbra. I think we're going to have it pop up momentarily. Yep, called it. 12 out of 51 now. Still, Iberian DLC is massive. So many cities yet to pick up here. 
That drive from uh, Lisbon up here was pretty wide open. I expected it to be more developed and urban, but um, it wasn't. It was pretty verdant. So that was kind of a fun little drive there. And this looks like a pretty cool city. So we're going to uh, make our way to the parking here. Let's see if we can do better. I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable with things. I think it's just that maybe the new wheel is kind of pulling my attention away from it. But for whatever reason, I just don't feel... I feel a little bit nervous driving today. Or I'm not sure why. I just don't feel like I'm kind of comfortable in the truck yet. And it, I haven't felt this way for quite a while. So we can see our final destination up ahead as we kind of check out the city of Coimbra here. And I think hopefully I can do better on this parking. Are we getting off here? Nope. Next exit. Curious though, are people excited about the West Balkans? I mean, what are your thoughts? I know a lot of people, when we talked about what DLCs do they hope, a lot of people have mentioned uh, more of Great Britain and stuff like that, you know. But I'm I'm pretty excited about the West Balkans. I think that's going to be fun. It'd be fun to have anything, right, at this point, really. I mean, I'd be happy with that for any, pretty much anything would be good. It's been a while. It's going to be a long gap between DLCs for Euro Truck Simulator 2. All right, rotary, whoa, that's a little bit fast. Downhill, here we go. And it looks like we just pull right in here to Tiba and drop off our oil filters in here. It can't be there, right? Oh, it's up ahead. Okay. Good. I was going to say, there's no way I could get the truck in there. Here we are. Little gated community. Let's go left. Let's see it pop open. I love this little adjustment with the steering wheel. This is pretty cool. Do not think I can make that, though. Yep, I kind of screwed it up. Things like that. Like, I don't feel like I should do that anymore. I feel like I should be able to make this in one turn, but fail. All right. Now we're in here. And we just we have to go over here like this. I want to go over that curb, but... And I am going over that curb. All right. Let's see what we got. 90. Excellent. Right here. Oh, that's an easy 90. We just had one of these. So, I'm going to go down there, turn around, and just back it right up. Hopefully, this one we can get on the first shot, right? I feel like I've been failing on parking lately here. It's funny how, like, I lean out the window, even though it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't change the angle, really. <laughs> it's, it's kind of immersive here. Oh, no, 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 don't go that way. Saki, come back. Uh, I gotta get this on the first shot. I have to redeem myself. Feeling the pressure. This is feeling pretty good now. Use the force here. When to turn back. I think this is gonna be good. Oh my goodness, I totally screwed it up again. Ah, I'm terrible. Maybe not. Maybe it'll give it to us. Yeah, totally missed that. Okay, don't give up, right? Yes, all right. Not the greatest parking job. They kind of were generous to us. They saw the first one and said, better give them a little easy bonus there, but we're in. Okay, I don't think we made much money, but some of our drivers picked up money. We have 267,000 euros right now. So I think the next step will be to, uh, we're still working towards uh, kind of upgrading some of our bases and garages and then do the big experiment there. Inching our way towards level 32. The progress is pretty slow right now, but we do have some more money. We picked up a couple of cities. We talked about the new update and talked about the wheel settings and stuff like that. If you've got ideas, tips, and things like that, I'd love to hear them. Thanks so much for tuning. If you'd like to watch something else, here it is. Check it out. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.